Hey guys, how's it going? It's Phil from Phil's Computer Lab. IC Doc sent me another product to review and this time we're doing it a little bit different. I thought, hey, why not do a proper project that people can relate to? I think you guys will find it a lot more interesting, uh, entertaining and hopefully IC Doc won't mind either. And certainly I will also enjoy it a lot more. So the plan is we're going to use this product. This is a interesting drive bay for a five and a quarter inch bay in your case and you can fit six two and a half inch SATA drives or solid state drives. So what we're going to attempt today is using six solid state drives and configure them in RAID. Let's have a quick look at some of the features on the box. SATA six gigabits per second is supported. It's got two fans at the back for cooling with a fan controller so you can adjust the speed of the fan. The drives are support hot swapping. It supports up to six two and a half inch drives that can be normal hard drives or also solid state drives, which we're going to use in this video. The drive height can be up to nine and a half millimeters. Easy access, so the drive trays are actually two less, and I will show that in more detail later. And it supports anti vibration, which we don't really need for the solid state drives, but if you're using a standard platter hard drive, that might be of interest to you. So this is what's inside the box. We've got the actual drive bay, a little booklet with some instructions and two sets of screws. And I really like how they label them. So you will definitely need to use these. These are for installing the drive bay into your computer case. And these ones are optional. So you don't have to use the hard drive screws. These are just for added stability and security. Installing the drives is very easy, too less and also very fast. So what you need to do is you basically push the button here and the tray comes out and then you take a solid state drive and you basically just align these uh, holes here and you place it down and then you put it back inside the unit. So how easy is that? Okay, all the drives are installed, so we're going to have a closer look at the unit itself. It is made out of metal, so the casing on the outside, that's all made out of metal. The drive trays are made out of plastic. And here we have the back of the unit. So we can see the six SATA connectors. So there are three here and three over there. And we can also see two SATA power connectors. So there's one on this side and there's one right here. We've got our two fans here and this is the fan control switch and you can set it to automatic, low or high. Now we've got to find the right motherboard for this project. This motherboard is not too bad, however, it's only got four SATA ports, that's not enough. This one is even worse, it only has two SATA ports. Oh, that's an interesting board, but not for this project. Now that's a lot better. Look what we've got here, six SATA ports and they're all of the newer SATA 6 standard. Now with uh, RAID, you have to be careful. The SATA ports, they need to be from the same controller. So all these six SATA ports, they're actually connected to the Southbridge on the AMD chipset. Whereas this one is an additional Marvel controller. So you can't build a RAID array uh, by hooking up a few hard drives to the chipset and then a few other ones to the Marvel controller that won't work. So it has to have enough ports from the same SATA controller in order to work. There you go, that's all connected up. So here we can see the six SATA cables going into the drive bay and up here it all goes into the motherboard. Okay, here's the test setup. We're almost done. I just need to grab a monitor, keyboard and mouse and then we can move on. Okay guys, here we've got the machine up and running and hopefully I'll figure out how to set everything up. Now, regarding the fans, um, in terms of noise, set, setting the fans to low speed, the CPU fan is louder. So um, if you want a quiet system, make sure you put them on low. On high, however, the fans are a little bit louder than the CPU fan, but the CPU fan I use is a fairly quiet model, so it's not a stock cooler. So it, it depends on your system. The other thing about the uh, fans on the IC Dock unit, they are user replaceable. They are 40 millimeter fans and they use a standard three pin fan connector. So if you're looking for a model that has uh, a more RPM that turn faster or that turn slower you can replace them yourself okay so here we are in the bias the first thing I'm gonna do is just load the bias defaults and I had a look in the user manual before so uh, hopefully this all works so we have to make sure that the SATA controller is turned on 
and down here for this other type we change that to RAID then this other port 4 and 5 we also change that to SATA we're not gonna use RAID 5 so we're gonna disable that and everything else should be left at default. So, okay we're gonna save and exit and according to the user manual at some point we have to press a certain key combination to get into the RAID setup there it is control F and if we press one view drive assignments we can see all the drives so I've got four of the 32 gigabyte SSDs on this page and I can go to the second page and I can see my other two drives and one of them is the larger uh, SanDisk drive I just didn't I only had five of those so I had to use a different model okay we go back out in order to create the RAID array we have to choose the menu option number two and we have some options down here that kind of tells us what to do so we gotta press ctrl c to define the array and we navigate with the arrow keys and we can toggle the options with space so we're gonna leave that on RAID 0 everything else will leave default and then here we just toggle the assignment to yes in order to include this and then we press ctrl y to save uh, let's do it again we can give it a name let's call it icdoc raid um, let's press ctrl y again press ctrl y to modify array capacity or press any other key to use maximum capacity so we just press any other key there it is we've got a RAID 0 array with six drives just a hun hun around 186 gigabytes and that's it so we're gonna restart and hopefully I'll be able to install Windows 10 without any issues Windows 10 is installed so I just connected my Ethernet code to my home network I will do all the Windows updates install some utilities and some benchmarks and then we have a look what these six solid-state drives in RAID 0 can do so there you have the results, we're getting just under 900 megabytes per second. Now, remember, the drives I'm using, those are fairly cheap 32 gigabyte king spec solid state drives from eBay. I use them mostly for my Windows 98 projects because the hard drive size is nice and small and works better with the older computers. What else is there to talk about? Pricing, I had a look on Amazon and on Newegg and it sells for around 55 US dollars. It is also backed up by a three year warranty. This was actually a pretty smooth project. Hopefully you guys found it interesting and entertaining too. I certainly enjoyed it, I learned a lot. I've never done a RAID 0 configuration with an AMD chipset before, so I also got something out of this. I can definitely recommend this product. If you're working in an area where you need to install drives very quickly, using the Express cage and the toolless design works really well. So you might be in a business where you're copying hard drives a lot or doing data recovery, uh, RAID of course, or you can uh, turn this into uh, a NAS, a network attached storage by using Windows storage spaces for example. I like that the fans are controllable but also user removable so that's a really nice touch. Even if you don't need the removable drive feature, if you've got a lot of solid state drives in your desktop, using this might actually make cable management a lot easier because all the cables go towards one device rather than being spread out throughout the case. And that's it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon in another video.